children. Good morning, ma'am. Today we are going to start a new topic, a new chapter, and I won't tell you the topic. You all have to guess what I am going to teach today. I will ask you some questions, and you all have to answer. My first question is: What you will do when you have to open the door? Pull. Pull. You will pull the door. Second question. What you will do when you have to close the door? Push. You will push it. What you will do when you are playing a football? Push. push. You will push the football. What you will do when you have to take out water from a well? Pull. You will pull the rope to take out the water. So in all these activities, what we are doing, we are either pulling anything or we are pushing anything. So all this. Pushing and pulling requires some kind of force. Force. Very good. So today we are going to discuss about force. Force. What is force? What can be the easiest definition of force? Anyone wants to try? Yes, please. A simple push or pull can be defined as force. Very good. Any kind of push or pull is force. So the definition of force will be a push or pull. Pull. A push or pull is a force. In our everyday life, whatever we do, we push anything, we pull anything, we. We are twisting the clothes for taking out all the water. All these things require force. Force is due to an interaction. In physics, interaction means action. If two bodies are there, for applying any kind of force, the two bodies have to interact first. Suppose, for example. For example of interaction, you are here and a very heavy box is there. You get, you have to apply a force to push or pull to move the box from its place. For applying the force, what you will do? Suppose this is a very heavy box and you are here. This A is E. You have to move this box. What you will do? You will either push the box or you will pull the box. The A is either the A will either push the box or pull the box. Then only the box will change its place. Then only we can say that the force is applied on the box. So for applying force, we need what? Interaction. Can you move the box from its place without touching it? Can we move? Can we move anything without touching it? No. So for applying the force, we need interaction. Suppose now the case is two boys are there. Both the boys are pushing towards each other. I am pushing you, and you will push me. Force will be applied. So for this. Applies of force also. What is needed? Interaction. Interaction is needed. Now the force has magnitude as well as direction. Suppose we have to move anything. This box only we will take as example. We have to move this box. In case one, an adult man is going to push the box, and in case two, a small child is going to push the box. Will both the results will be same? No. No, because the force applied by an adult man will be more than the force applied by a small child. That means the force can be larger sometimes. The force can be smaller sometimes. The force applied by an adult man is larger is more than the force applied by a small child. That means the amount of 
force differs and this amount only expressed in the terms of magnitude. Magnitude of force is the amount of force which is applied on a body to move it from its position. Understood? What is the magnitude of force? Yes. Now, direction. This is also one of the more, most important factors when we are applying force. Direction of force, in which direction the force is applied to the object, the object will move in that direction only. Suppose I am up, up, applying the force in this direction, the object will move in this direction only. And if I will apply the force in this direction, the object will, will move in this direction only. So the force is having both magnitude and the direction. Now we will discuss about the three cases in which we are applying force. The first case, case one, the same example will be taken of a heavy box. We have to move this box. Suppose a. A boy is there whose name is A. A is pushing the box in this direction. This arrow denotes the direction here. A is pushing the box in this direction. One more boy B came and he also started to push the box in the same direction. Now the question is what will be the resultant force acting on this box? Yes, the force, the resultant or the net force working on this box will be A plus B. And this A plus B, this force is denoted in the magnitude. That is the SI unit of force is SI unit of force is Newton. Newton. Now the question is, what is Newton? Can anyone try? What is Newton? What do you mean when I will say that 3 Newton? I have applied a force of 3 Newton. What does it mean? Okay. No shoes. I will tell you what does it mean. Actually, 1 Newton of force means that the force needed to move an object of 1 kilogram mass with the speed of 1 meter per second. So, the definition you can say of 1 newton is 1 newton is the force needed to move an object of 1 kilogram mass with the speed of 1 meter per second. Now, can you tell me what do you mean by 3 newton? Yes. It is the force uh, which is used to move uh, 3 kg of mass uh, at the speed of 1. Very. Sit. So now you understood what is SI unit of force and what is Newton. Now we will come to case number 2. In case number 2, same box we will take. This box is very heavy. Boy A is pushing the box in this direction. Now the boy B will not push the box in the same direction. He will come here and start pushing the box in opposite direction. Now you have to tell what is the resultant force acting on this box. Yes, it will be the difference between the force applied by the two boys. It will be the difference between A and B. Suppose A is applied a force of 5 newtons and B is applied a force of 2 newtons. Then what will be the resultant force acting on the box? 5 newtons minus 2 newtons. That means 3 newtons will be the force acting on the box. Understood? 
the same box is there a is applying force in this direction and b again is applying force in this direction now the case is the magnitude of force applied by a is equal to or you can say is same as the force the magnitude of force applied by b, b. now what will be the net force acting on the box zero zero Okay, so in case three, the force applied by A and B is equal and in opposite direction. So the net force acting on the box will be zero. Zero newton. Understood this? Okay. Now we will discuss about the effects of force. What force can do? Can anyone tell me? On what factors the effect of force depends? The effect of force depends on what factors? Can we say that the effect of force depends on the magnitude as well as the direction of the force applied? With what strength, with what magnitude you are applying the force? That will very easily affect the effect created by the force. The direction in which the force is applied, that is also going to affect the effect created by force. Isn't it? So the effect of force directly depends upon the magnitude as well as Direction in which the force is applied. <coughs> the first effect created by force is it can move an object which is at stationary position. Okay, what do you mean by stationary position in physics? The object which is at rest. Yes, the object which is at rest, which is not at all moving, is known as in stationary position. So, suppose a ball is there, which is at rest, which is not moving. What you have to do? You have to go and kick it. Yes. When you will kick the football, what will happen? It will start moving from one place to another place. Another place. So, what will happen? The force applied by you. It will make the ball move. It will make the stationary ball move. So what we can say that the force can move a stationary object. Force can move a stationary object. Now the second effect of force. Suppose a ball is coming towards you and you have to stop that. A goalkeeper, what is the work of a goalkeeper in football? To so stop the ball from goal. What he do? He applies a kind of force to stop the ball. The ball is already in motion. The ball is already moving, coming towards you. And what you are doing? You are applying force to stop. stop the ball. So here can we say that the force can stop a moving object. Understood this one? Yes, Understood this both the effects of force? Now the third one. Force can change the direction of a moving object. Suppose the ball is coming towards you and you have to send that ball to your friend. You have to pass the ball to your friend. What you will do? You will kick the moving ball and change the direction of the ball. The ball is coming towards you. Now the ball, when you will take it, again it will go to your friend. That means you are applying force just to change the, direction. change the direction of the ball. So, 
here we can say that force can change the direction of a moving object. Now, one more case can be there. Suppose a ball is coming towards you with a very high speed. And you have to just slow down its speed. What you will do? You will touch it slightly. With your slight touch, with your very gentle touch, what will happen? The very fast moving, fast coming ball towards you will decrease its speed. So, we have applied a very small amount of force to decrease the speed of the ball. Another case can be a very uh, slow moving ball is coming towards you and you kick it very fast. What will happen? The speed of the ball will increase. increase. So, the force applied by us can decrease as well as it can increase. decrease the speed of the moving object. So, fourth effect we can write that force can change. Here change means increase also and decrease also. Force can change the speed of a moving object. Now the first effect of force. Force can change the shape as well as the size of an object. Whatever object you have, if suppose you have this chalk and I am breaking this chalk, what happens? The size of the chalk changes, the shape of the chalk changes. So we can say when I apply force in breaking the chalk, the shape and size of the chalk Changes. When you, when you are making roti, when you are making chapati, what you do? You roll the roti with rolling pin, yes. you take a dough and roll it. What happens? The shape and size, both of a dough will change when you are applying a force. So we can say that very easily force can force can change the shape and size of an object. So what we learn students today? What is force? What are the effects of force? What is the SI unit of force? What is the magnitude and force is having magnitude as well as Now. Can anyone of you can tell me what is the definition of force? Raise your hand. Yes. Very good. A push or pull is called force. Now who will tell me what is the SI unit of force? Wait. Yes, you. The SI unit of force is? Newton. Newton. Very good. Sit down. So your today's homework will be, you have to list all the effects of force with their examples. Hope you enjoyed the class. Yes. Thank you very much.